The sequence specificity of DNA means that the kinetics of DNA strand displacement can be directly simulated using the DSD tool. For example, an elementary strand displacement reaction is shown in which an input strand displaces an output strand. The input strand has the correct complementary nucleic acid sequence to bind to the toehold, and once bound, it can displace the output strand base by base. Because single strands are used as both inputs and outputs to this system, the output from one circuit can be used as the input to another, so that scalable circuits can be created. In theory, the rules of strand displacement can be used to program any logic system that can be expressed as a chemical reaction network. For example, we can implement the reaction A plus B goes to C, the biological equivalent of a join gate. The first input strand binds to the complementary toehold, displacing the attached strand. This then reveals a second toehold, which corresponds to the second input strand, which is then able to displace the output strand. Only when both input strands are present will the output strand be released. The presence of a further strand, which binds to the output molecule and contains a fluorescing molecule, allows us to track the progress of the reaction. This join gate reaction can be viewed as an abstracted nucleic acid sequence and the dynamics of the reactions can be simulated using the DSD tool. There are many concurrent reversible reactions even to describe this simple logic operation. Complex systems can become unmanageable very quickly so the DSD tool was developed to simulate the resulting networks of reactions. As a proof of principle, we have developed a molecular circuit that implements an algorithm for achieving consensus. Given two populations of molecules, X and Y, the algorithm works out which is in the majority. The algorithm is expressed as three reactions. The two populations of DNA molecules, here shown in red and green, cancel each other out to form an intermediate molecule, shown in orange. The second and third reactions are positive feedback loops, one for X and one for Y. Whichever population is in excess will outcompete the other and eventually convert the intermediate back to itself so that an overall consensus is reached. We have implemented this high level algorithm in a modular way by considering each reaction as a separate circuit. For example, if we start with this population of DNA strands, the dynamic reactions convert X and Y strands into intermediates and back again. Eventually, the X feedback loop outcompetes the Y feedback loop, and the system converges to be fully X, which was the strand that began in excess. In reality, there are billions of molecules interacting in parallel, and the dynamics of the reaction system ensure that the correct consensus is reached. The reactions involved in the consensus circuit are multi-step operations and a number of strands and output strands with fluorescing molecules are needed. The full set of reactions are complex, and the dynamics of these reactions are abstracted and simulated in the DSD tool, which handles the modelling of this network of reversible reactions in a manageable form. The logical structure is programmed into the DSD tool, and the set of possible behaviours is generated. We see the functioning of the consensus circuit where X and Y quickly cancel each other out to produce the intermediate B, which is then converted to the majority. The result of this simulation is in agreement with experimental data. Designing such strand displacement systems can be difficult and error prone. The DSD tool simulates all these reaction steps and enables the creation of complex logic circuits using chemical reaction networks.